Hi everybody, welcome to my channel Healthy Lifestyle A to C. This is Letty Smith. I will be sharing delicious, easy, healthy and fast recipes. I've been making them for myself and I want to share them with you. They're gluten free and no MSG. This is the key to a healthy, happy lifestyle. Don't forget to exercise and drink water. I will be sharing new recipes every Friday and I invite you to like, subscribe and share with your friends and family. Stay tuned. Today's recipe, gluten-free vegetarian mushroom meatballs. For those of you that are staying away from meat, this is a great option. So get all your ingredients together and here's the list. You're going to need 16 ounces of white mushrooms sliced very well washed and drained, two eggs pasture raised, two cups gluten-free oatmeal flour, separate half cup to roll your meatballs, two minced garlic cloves, half onion chopped medium size, Himalayan salt and pepper to taste, three tablespoons olive oil or oil of your choice, two cups vegetable broth or broth of your choice, half cup walnuts, and one handful of parsley. So get your pan ready, heat up your oil, and add your onion. You're gonna saute until it changes color. You're gonna add the garlic. You're gonna add the walnuts. You're gonna add the mushrooms. And you're gonna give it a stir. Cook them until the liquid evaporates because the mushrooms release a lot of water and transfer to the food processor. Add the eggs. Then you're gonna add your parsley. You're gonna add the gluten-free oat flour and mix it in your food processor. Open and remove the mix from the sides and then mix again. The mix has to be a little bit sticky. Make the balls and roll them into the oat flour. Cover all of it. This is how it looks like. And then you're gonna finish all the mix. And once you have them all ready, you're gonna put some oil in the Instapot and you're gonna saute them. Saute on vegetable setting. And then turn them over. Uh, you want them kind of brown. You don't wanna burn them. And once they're all brown, add your broth. Set it for pressure cooker on vegetable setting. And then serve. Don't they look amazing? And you can serve them with veggies or a salad. Next recipe, zucchini noodles with avocado pesto sauce. So I invite you to subscribe, like, and share with your friends and family. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned and see you next time.